Hi, Jesse, it's Sherry Perry, and I just want to thank you so much for inviting me to speak at your event. I'm so sorry that I wasn't available to come. I can tell you that the people that are coming to your program this weekend that has the central focus of one person, one word, one kind act are in for a real treat. It's what we need, isn't it? Our whole world right now is just hungry for people that understand their massive impact that they can have with just a kind word, a kind thought, a kind action. So I am just going to give you three points. I hope that you can find some value and a blessing out of it. And I hope at one point that I actually get to come and actually be with you, Jesse, and with your crew. So here's my three points for what it's worth. Number one, you want to make friends with the person in the mirror. Oh yeah, you. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I have beat myself up mentally. I would never talk to anybody sometimes the way that I talk to myself. Maybe you can relate to that. You got to make friends with the person in the mirror. And I'm not talking in 20 pounds. I'm not talking um, when you get an accomplishment done, when you raise your kids, when you get married, when you, you know, take the next step in your career. No, I'm talking about right now, right this second start with the person in the mirror. Michael Jackson has a great song and sometimes I'll just put it on to listen to it. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. That's why I let Michael Jackson sing it. <laughs> but it's a really, really great song. If you would listen to it and just get that beautiful message that says, listen, if there's gonna be change in the world, it's going to start with me. Number one, start with the person in the mirror. Number two, you wanna be, uh, as my friends Zig Ziglar used to call them, a good finder. You want to be looking for the good. Now, I want to share a little story about how I had one person, one treasure that I honestly didn't even realize how big of an impact he made on my life until most recently when he passed uh, as an old man. Um, his name was Ken Anderson. Some of you may know him. He was from Battleground. And I'll never forget one day I'm sitting on the benches watching a baseball game. Well, not really watching. I was sitting on the benches having some kind of conversation with mothers uh, of other kids on the team. And I was a little irritated. And I think Ken knew that because he tapped on my shoulder and he said, hey, Sherry, how would you like to learn how to score a baseball game? I came out of left field. I had no idea. I said, yeah, I would like to learn. And from that moment on, my experience on the baseball field and with my son and with those mothers and with that team changed dramatically. I was able to develop some great friendships and relationships just because I was so focused in on the game and not on the little chit chit chat chat that happens on the bleachers. Um, it made a tremendous difference. One point one action, one word from a gentleman that I barely knew at the time. We became good friends and uh, my life is better just for that one thing that Ken Anderson did for me. So number two, look for the treasure, find the treasure, be a good finder. Number three, look for the opportunity to be a treasure. Yesterday, I was driving through the parking lot in Salmon Creek. I just got my nails done at Lee Nails. By the way, my girl over there is awesome. Her name is Jenny. And if you want somebody to do a really good job on your nails, call Jenny at Lee Nails. Little, uh, little shameless plug there for her. And I noticed that there was this lady walking out of the salon with those really flat, really thin little, you know, things that you put on your feet when you forget your sandals when you go get a pedicure. And at that moment, I remembered in the back seat of my business car, just happened to be driving the, the TMC car, I had a pair of croc flip-flops that are a half a size too big for me, brand spanking new. And I looked at her and I thought, what are the chances? So I pulled over, rolled the window down. I said, hey, what size shoe do you wear? And she's looking at me like, what? And she says, I wear size 10. I said, amazing, isn't it? I stopped the car, got out, pulled out my brand new black Crocs, went around. I said, try these on. She almost started to cry. And then I got a text message last night and here's exactly what it said. Just a random act of kindness, right? Look for the opportunity. 
Here's what it said. It said, thank you so much for making my day with your kindness. I will share my kindness to someone else too. God bless you. You have no idea what our conversation meant to me yesterday. Thanks. This is Maddie, the nail girl. <laughs> A little tiny action. One step, one word, one kind gesture, one word. It's very powerful. It makes all the difference. And I am super excited for you to be spending this time with Jesse because I know Jesse to be a woman of character. I know Jesse to be a driven powerhouse of a woman who's trying to make a difference. And you are with her uh, today and this weekend. And I think it's probably one of the best places you could be. So thank you, Jesse, again for inviting me. And please keep me in mind if you would like to. Uh, you know, open that opportunity up again in the future, I would be honored. Have so much fun and have a great day. And remember, one person starting the mirror. Talk to you soon.